hello! Welcome back to Kyle Blah. So, we're continuing on once again with Super Mario Bros. 3. What the fuck did we talk about last- oh, we were- We were getting political last time, I don't know. That whole thing, people being bitches and shit, you know? You know how we do. Should we talk about this time that's controversial? Oh, God. Is there even anything left controversial that we haven't talked about? No. Well, there is, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Ever. No, we, we don't feel like getting shit on any more than <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <normal. laughs> I'm, we're, uh, I'm all full up on getting shit on. All full on that one. Is this a tunuki? That's a tunuk. Tunuki. Tunuk, tunuk. How do you do it again? Oh. Down in Y. Right. Or X. Both. <clears throat> You're gonna just, yeah, don't do that on the fucking falling blocks. Oh, you're fucked. Oh, you should have stolen there. <laughs> oh my god. You should have stolen there. Fly! Fly away! If you had, uh, gone, gotten stoned there. Yeah, brah. Yeah, brah. Legalize! Okay, I think I need this. Woo! That was close. Ooh! Snoop! Ah! Oh, you're really shit in the bed this time. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <sighs> Anyways, I was like, when I started singing the Tanuk Tanuk song, there's a video that you guys, you have to see. This guy's amazing. I can't remember what the hell his name is, but he does this song called Tanuk Tanuk. And if you've never heard of it, you gotta go fucking watch it now. Because it's just. It's internet history, really. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna end well for you, I promise. No! <laughs> um, but it's just like... Good, good. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like this dude put like... All $150 of his money together and made this music video. Apparently he was famous before that, though. Get out of here. No, he... Okay, so... Fuck! Oh, God! The history behind that video is, uh... Yeah, he was famous, and then he did something that people found offensive. I can't remember what it was. And then he made that video as kind of like a... Fuck you to the general population. Oh? No. Yeah, apparently. Okay. And he just took like every stereotype and then included it in that. But it's so good though. It is really funny. Oh fuck. Guys, you gotta go watch it. Tanuk Tanuk. It's like T U N U K oh. times two. And just watch this video. It, it'll change your life. No, I hate it'll those motherfuckers. Oh dear. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Ah, ah. Oh, that's where you come out? Interesting, you skip like half the level. Yeah. Just go, bro. Woo! You get a mushroom. Mm. Fuck, I feel like every time we just default going back to talking about old videos that we used to watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys gotta watch this. There was just so many classic videos from back in the day, man. I can't, like, just, I can't talk about them enough. Can I use a frog suit for this next level? Yeah. Oh, I have to find a hammer, bro, though. Okay, well, I'll leave you that, because you can use a lot. Hmm, sure. Here we go! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You're dicked. No! I had too much... Too much <laughs> momentum going. I couldn't make it back before I died. I became hittable again. So? Mm-hmm. Good silence. Yes. How, how are you? I'm alright. I'm gonna end the episode there. <laughs> <laughs> um... 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 I don't think of... Do I have anything that went on with me recently? I don't think so, man. Like, it's a... Been a, been a tame two weeks? Yeah, normally I have something interesting to talk about because, you know, my life is just kind of like that. Yeah. As many people have pointed out. <laughs> I think you can hit that wood block there. Can I? Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
Oh my god. Yep, there it is. Yeah, well. <clears throat> oh. I mean, you've always usually got like a story in the bag though from back in the day. Um. Really? That was down. Uh, yeah, that was a little, that was iffy. Back in the day, huh? But there's, there was a lot of back in the day, let me tell you guys. I'm trying to think of like way back in the oh, day. Oh, an auto-scroller, fuck. Did you ever have a pet? I don't think so, right? I had fish. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, that keyed off a story here. <laughs> so there were... I, don't, I can't remember if I told this story before. On on our show. So I, I used to have fish. Yeah, oh. it's it's tough to just like do the fine movement with them. <laughs> no! Just go, you gotta go. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Oof. Those guys are fucking killers. Okay, so I had fish. And I had a big fish tank. It was in my room back when I lived, uh, still back home. Um, and so I used to have, like, I had normal stuff, like, I had some beta fish. Um, I had a swordfish. Now, it's not, like, the type of swordfish you think. It had, like, one part of the tail was short and the other part was, like, it looked like a long... Like, maybe the end, end of a sword, like an actual swordfish. Um, so it was just like a normal fish tank style swordfish. Um, and I also had sharks. Um, and then there was one time where all of a sudden I couldn't, the shark was gone. He just disappeared. And then... Years later... Um... We were, we were cleaning out my room, and in the, like, the, the fish tank would have been here, and then the wall was just behind it, and then, like, over here I had my closet. And then, so, like, we had football games that we went to, um, back in high school, and they'd give you, like, pom-poms or whatever to cheer with. And I had, like, this old set of pom-poms sitting in my closet. And we were cleaning it out, my mom like threw these on the bed, and then I picked them up and started waving around, and I felt something like hard hitting my arm. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So we're like, take apart the little things of the, of the pom-pom, and there was my fucking dead-ass petrified fish stuck to one of the pom-pom things that I was hitting myself with. I like, I was like, oh my god! And I like freaked out through this fucking thing. So that's where my fish went. He must have jumped out of the fish tank. Flopped his way into the fucking closet and then died in the pom poms. How big was the shark? Oh, it was probably like that big. That's not a shark. I said it was like <laughs> an aquarium style shark, and not a shark like you would think. But yeah, that was uh, honestly a little scarring. I've never caught gotten over that. That was disgusting. <laughs> My fucking dead fish that I thought was long gone. Hit me in the arm. Mm. Oh god. Like, what did, okay, but here's the thing is before you knew what happened to it, did you have any like theories? I had no idea. I was like, where the fuck could he have gone? Cause there was nowhere because I mean I guess your only <coughs> thought is maybe he jumped out, but we looked around. Yeah. Like we looked around the fish tank, we looked for him, couldn't find him anywhere. So, we had no idea. We just talked it up to fucking ghosts. Who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, and then you fucking find him years later. Oh, you're going to die right here. <laughs> my first... No, but my first thought would have been, like... Because obviously there was a lot of kids in your guys' house all, all at the same time, right? Like, that's... Oh, that was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. No. Uh, would have been, my first thought would have been one of the kids did something to it. But they never were allowed in my room, though, without my mom being in there. So I don't see how they, I, I, they wouldn't have been able to get in there. But maybe. But yeah, we just we couldn't find it anywhere. So that was uh, that was a little horrifying hmm. and scarring. So that's uh, that's one of my old story <laughs> <laughs> that shaped me as a human being. My mom always said growing up that I was. Um, very similar to Kelvin from the Kelvin and Hobbes series. Okay. Because I kind of always lived in my own little world. Yeah. Um, my first animal's name was Stick. 
Well, that's really creative. <laughs> <laughs> was it one of those dead cats? Well, eventually. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had that cat for a while. God. My cats were always the one that survived. It was oh. all the other ones, because I actually took care of them. Yeah. Like, during the cold, I used, always used to sneak them into my bedroom. Okay. Um, but yeah, the other ones, you'd find them in springtime like this on the uh. grass. Yeah, he always had cats and, like, dead cats out on his farm, just in the yard somewhere. Every spring it was cat harvest. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah. And I know that that, I know there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna watch this and say, you're a fucking terrible human being. Oh, this is kind of different from, well, where we're from, but more, more importantly, on the farm. On the farm. Because it's like barn cats, right? You're on the farm, you have barn cats. They just live in the barn. You don't take care of them. Yeah. They just eat mice and whatever other shit in the barn, and that's it. Damn it. Nah. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely true. Yeah. No, there was a lot of things. Like, um, I know a lot of people talk about dogs and whatnot and how much they love their dogs. I can't ever understand it, just because dogs are a tool on the farm. Yeah, you've talked about that before. And so, just like animals in general are thought about differently where I grew up. And I think it might also be because uh, my family is from, like, a third world country, right? Like, because we're from, we're from the Ukraine, so that, that kind of mentality is just, it's kind of passed through the generations. I may be a born Canadian, but... I grew up around it and around the people who were from the Ukraine, which is interesting. I've actually never asked you this. What is your heritage? Ukrainian and French. Well, I guess, so my dad, oh, my dad's side is 50% Ukrainian and then 25, 25 Scottish and Irish. And then my mom is 100% French. Um, so majority of it is French and Ukrainian. How many, like, how many generations have they been here for? Did, do you know anyone that was from the Ukraine or from Ireland or Scotland? Um, so, I, I was too young to have met, like, my great-grandparents. Yeah. Um, but they were from, like, the home, oh, God, that asshole. Um, I think, like, my dad's, my dad's grandparents, so my great-grandparents on his side were f right from the Ukraine. Right. Um, and I'm not sure how many generations, oh my god, I wasn't, <laughs> I'm not sure how many generations, um, my mom's family goes back before they were from France. Right. So, I'm not, I'm not sure on that side. That's something that's really funny to me, though, is, um... But see, that, yeah, that's the thing, is that I never saw, like, the old, old world relatives that were like right from those places yeah oh good luck with this <laughs> well good for you i'm happy uh yeah so i i, I guess i never i never saw any of that kind of i don't know i don't want to say weird but like behavior that you don't normally see here it's different it's definitely different like they will beat the ever-loving shit out of you. Oh, yeah. That was just par for the course. <laughs> Whack you upside the fucking head with a progy. <laughs> the most delicious way to get beaten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's another funny thing, though, um, is the difference between fr or, um, France French and Canadian French. Oh, it's not even close. Like, we actually have a new guy that's been watching the channel here in, from France. And we we have a friend from France as well. Yep. And so it's one thing that we always hear is, uh, it's a butchering of the fucking language. Yep. Yeah, Quebec French is not French. Well, I mean, it is French, but it's like, yeah, it's a bastardization of it. They just, I don't know what, they speak a different, a different French there. And I don't know what the, I don't really know what the biggest difference is between, like, France French and Quebec French. I know the difference between, like, the French my mom speaks versus the French that they do out there and the French in, in France. Like, there's a lot more, they use a lot more slang than she would use. Um, which, yeah. I mean, I guess is the same difference, like, in English that we oh. use versus... 
I'm done. English that we use versus, you know, other places English, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. This is the one place you actually beat some levels, so now we got a lot of levels to rebeat. Oh! Oh my god! I beat a lot of them. <laughs> you did! Oh, fucking hell. But yeah, our, our English is, like, with oh, there's so much slang. Like, I feel sorry for anybody having to learn English, like, coming over here. Because there's just, there's so much slang that it'd be so hard to figure out what the fuck anybody's talking about when they're actually yeah. speaking English. But back to what we were talking about before. If anybody has any stories, like, grandparents or stuff that they knew that had some... Like weird old country shit that they used to do. Tell us in the comments. Yeah, leave it down here. Because it's always it's always like the most interesting stuff. Because it's always off the wall and stuff that you'd never expect. So it's really funny. So let us know. Um, and with that, we're gonna leave the episode off there. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>